Ahoy hoy! Today we have some great news. Worlds with fans is happening, or in other words, the Smite World Championship in person is happening. Stu has confirmed that Smite with fans will take place in January 2023, but not given us further details yet. That means that unlike some of the previous Worlds events, this one will not be part of DreamHack Atlanta, which is in late November this year. Traditionally, when Worlds took place in January, that was when it was in the Cobb Energy Center. Unfortunately, many of the pros are not too happy about this announcement, even though they wanted Worlds with fans. That is because the current schedule date means they won't be able to go home for Christmas or New Year's. That may not sound like a massive deal for some, but you have to keep in mind that many of the European pro players that live in NA haven't seen their family for multiple years because of lockdowns and this would have been the time where they had the chance to go home for a while and see them. The fact that this is an issue now and didn't used to be is also because back in the day when the Worlds event was originally in Atlanta and in the Cup Energy Center, not all of the pros were living in Atlanta constantly because back then they weren't paid directly for being pro players and many of them stayed in EU because there was this whole EU league and they would only travel over to Atlanta for Worlds specifically, whereas they would be with their friends and family for the rest of the year. Now you may be wondering why can't they just go home for Christmas and New Year's and then come back after for Worlds itself and Alpha Jekyll wrote a pretty good reply for that one. Teams need to practice and be completely in sync with each other for Worlds. You don't get that with just a couple of weeks together. It takes a few months of straight practice. Not to mention that in the final few weeks, they'll be testing new stuff and trying to find pocket picks. I would also add that outside of the mental preparation aspect, being jet lagged right before a tournament most certainly isn't a great foundation for having a chance at winning it. So all in all, the situation most certainly isn't ideal for the pros and I think that's very, very unfortunate. What I imagine might be happening is that Hyrus wanted to book their classic spot, Cobb Energy Center, which is a really, really good location for this event, 100%. And I guess that they couldn't get December slots. I would also imagine that December spots would be significantly more expensive. I think that towards the end, there would be a lot of events happening there that would bump the price up a fair bit. So booking the whole place for an extended period of time would probably be pretty pricey, pretty spicy. And that's assuming a long enough time slot is available in the first place. It's possible that Hyrus will be able to adjust that in the coming years based on the feedback they're getting now, but I would be surprised if they can entirely reschedule the event for this year in a way that would fit better unless they push it back significantly, which I don't necessarily imagine is in their greatest interest either because I think they chose this week in January very specifically because that's kind of before people head back to school and whatever. So if they push it further into February or something, less people would have time. What I will say though is that if HRX is in fact happening at the Cobb Energy Center, then I would highly recommend going if you have the chance and you live anywhere nearby. The venue is fantastic for multiple reasons. It has multiple floors. You can really feel like you're on the big stage, but you also have all these places where everyone congregates together between the matches to meet plenty of people. And what, in my opinion, is much, much better compared to the DreamHack event is that you are surrounded by people that are actually there for Hyrus related things and mostly for Smite. So you're not just going to run into a bunch of random people that are there for fighting games, but everyone there is there for a shared interest. The, let's call them assigned hotels nearby are also much, much closer to the venue and the after party venue is closer as well. So really everything works a little bit better in my opinion when the event is at Cobb and my most memorable HRX events have most certainly been at Cobb. Being in the city instead has other perks, but if you're there for Hyrus Expo, then that's the place to be. I saw myself, I will probably not be going because it's halfway across the world and I don't have that kind of money. But if I was living in NA, I probably would. That's it for this little update. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell. And other than that, I hope to see you for the next one soon. Duke Sloth, out.